What's going on guys? Welcome back to Left Bra. So we're back on our redstone world and we're working on our redstone computer. So in the past episode we worked over there on our T flip flops that enabled our keyboard to finally start inputting uh, redstone signals to create the letters on the screen. So today we're going to go ahead and see where we're at and then we're going to work on the power button. So currently we're going to just choose C1 which is the bottom option right there and let's see we just want to type in I don't know W. So if we type in W, if we wait, it's going to take a second to get the signal there. There you go. That's W. So shown W. And if, say we don't want W, instead of going all the way over to the backspace, let's just run over it again so we get it. Okay. Let's wait for it to despawn. There we go. And I don't know. We'll do, let me try D maybe just for you guys. We'll see if I set up D first and then we'll get into the actual power button. Okay, there's D. So we'll turn that off. We'll go ahead and run over that. So it deactivates our uh, T flip flop, puts it back to uh, null. There you go. And we'll close this off. Okay, so currently we can run over whatever keys we want. And since it's all shut off, like I explained, nothing's going to happen. It's going to stay blank. Well, today we're going to work on a power button where even if we went ahead and flipped all these switches and ran over all the keys for every single switch, nothing would happen because it's powered off. Okay, so in the top left hand corner, you can see when we initially built the screen, we did add a power on notif like notification icon, okay? So this, we're gonna go ahead and actually utilize. So if you guys don't have this built, you can just make it. Um, you really don't need this much of a, a system. You could just use a simple lever, but we're going bigger going home. I mean, we're making a freaking, you know, redstone computer on Minecraft. Why not go big, okay? So we're going to place a torch here. So it goes ahead and actually turns off all those torches. So this is currently in the off state, okay? So just like that, just leave that torch for there right now. Now on our actual keyboard, we're going to create a power button just like the normal keys, but this one is just gonna be for power. So we're just gonna extend this out, I guess, for a little bit, and we're going to make our power button. So I want it set a little bit away from the keys. Let's see how much we had spaced out before. We just had one space, but let's go ahead, since this is a power button, we'll space it out by two. So we're gonna go ahead up three. Okay, we'll get rid of these bottom blocks so we can work with our uh, redstone. So it's three, and then one on either side, and then three again. So it's three, one, three, three, one, three. And then we're going to loop back and have one. Okay. And then we're just going to place one in the center right there, there, and there. So just three, just like that. So imagine connecting this circle right here, but we're just turning it 90 degrees. So now we can go ahead and we can place pressure plates on all of those. Okay. There we go. And I guess we can just take our uh, red block and we can just encase this. How many did I have on this side? I had it two on this side, so we'll do two on the other side as well, just to keep it symmetrical and looking nice. Now you could play around with some fancy nice design or whatever, or you can just do what I'm doing and just fill it in. Okay, almost done. Make sure not to fill underneath because we need the space underneath those uh, pressure plates. So here we go, last bit here, right there and right there. Okay, now we're actually just gonna run the redstone. So we could go ahead and have this entire key be powered, but we'll just do the end piece. be power we could run in this underground but I figure what the heck let's uh let's run in our ground just for a little bit so because you know no
Get our blue building block. And we want to go down diagonal so we can invert this torch and turn it off. Okay. So currently it is in the off state, so when we step on that, it'll go into the on state. Okay. And then we want... Actually, we have to go out like this and then down. And what the heck, we'll do three so we can have a nice repeater. Spiral down. So from this point, we can just run the redstone. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, we're going to get rid of this, actually, and we're going to create a T flip-flop. So in case you forgot how to do that, we're going to use our brown wool, and we're going to build up a system just like this. Okay? I'm going to move that back for a little bit. Redstone torch, place it there. Sticky pistons with our block, and we're going to build out three. Oh, sorry, four I meant. And place that there. Actually, no, no, I was right. Three. So, yep, sorry, it could, it could either be there or it could be there. So that's good. Okay. And we're going to take our building block. Going to walk it up to that point. Okay. Now we want to have this one powered and then this one powered run our redstone up it just like so and then we can have our redstone from there running out and now we can run it up here so we'll go ahead and we'll actually use this piece right here and we'll place a redstone repeater just to make sure the signal is perfect run it up the staircase Oh, repeater goes there, and there we go. So now, we can go ahead and test this out. And if we go ahead and walk on that, activate the T flip-flop and power that on. Again, if we power it off, should go ahead and turn that off. There you go, that's off. Okay, so now we're going to take the signal over here, and we're going to build another T flip-flop. So again, we're just going to place our block there, block to the side, redstone torch, that block with that, and then three, one, and we can place this on top, make this walk up to it. So we're just gonna put the redstone on top here. This side, then that side, run it on top, and make sure your final block is the same height as this first block, uh, first brown block right there. Run that over. And actually, you know, at the points, okay? If I can actually simply do that. Dig that, dig that, down, down, down. Uh, we'll do these last two just for the heck of it. It's just so you can see what exactly it is like. Down and down, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to build up from that. So that's gonna be when it's cut off. So that's gonna be when the piston is fully extended. And uh, this is where the piston is normally going to rest. So we're going to break that sticky piston like that. So it can go ahead and grab the block and pull it down. Okay. So we're going to place our brown wool and just pull this back along the way. And we can connect our blue wool up to that. Bring this along here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then repeater repeater uh, we're gonna have to make sure the repeaters are actually yep that one's in a non block and that one's a non block okay good from this point we can just at every single one look down and place just like so make sure they're matching up oops okay we're done with that and now we can place our blocks, you know, on that, 
like that, or just already on the uh, the pistons. We'll go ahead, and currently it's in the off state, so you know what we're going to do? We're going to actually, yeah, we're going to place them on the ground. So just make sure it's actually synced up with what your, your thing is showing. So since it's off right now, we want these down on the ground. Okay? You can place them there. Okay, so currently it is cutting off all the power. So if we were to go ahead and flip on, say, C1, you can see C1 is powered, but it's blocked off by that. But now if we actually turn it on, there we go, power button comes on, and my mistake, I forgot to go ahead and actually add a... Uh, redstone torch right there and this this piece right here is actually supposed to be inboard sorry inverting